We mentioned surgery a little bit. We've talked to a lot of naturopathic doctors, uh, just in general, and, and you know they all kind of say the same thing as we try to get to the root cause. And a lot of them will say, look, the tumor is not the root cause of the problem. There's something else going on. So if you take the tumor out, you really don't do anything. Now, granted, if a tumor is big enough, you have to you know, get that out. But what are your thoughts on you know, surgery oftentimes being a first option to get that out? Yeah, so I think surgery is often a pretty good option for a lot of people, and I have seen complications with patients who choose to not forego surgery. Uh, one of the things that cancer is really good about, about is walling off the tumor site, So, and they have leaky veins and vessels, so it's really hard for us to get nutrients delivered through the veins into the tumor site. So sometimes surgery is a really great option for just removing that primary tumor site. But I do agree that it's not treating the root cause, right? The tumor is a symptom of something else going on in the system. Mm -hmm. And when people ask me questions like that, I always go back to my training in undergrad. I was a marine biologist and I used to work for the National Park Service doing habitat restoration. And one of the really cool things about doing habitat restoration is that when you look at how to make a healthy watershed, you have to look at the top of the hill, the middle of the hill, the bottom of the hill, and then you get to the watershed and then you get to the salmon in the watershed. And anytime you change any of those layers, you're actually impacting the way that the river runs through the watershed. And I think of our blood vessels as the river and our lymph glands as the liver or as the river. And then our everything else, our muscles, our environment, all the things we're being exposed to is those different layers of the watershed. What happens is when you pull a weed out of a watershed and you're trying to make a healthy river, it um, often will get a lot of weeds that grow in its place unless you change the soil or you plant something else in its place. So that's what we do in cancer care. That's how I view cancer care. We plucked out the weed, but then what are we gonna put in that substrate, in that tissue, in that cellular environment to make sure another weed doesn't grow back? And that's really the importance of diet and nutrition, supplements, IV therapies. We're really trying to change that internal environment so that it's not a place that cancer cells like to grow in.